Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Xenosaga Episode 3. Uh, number one, I figured out what those uh, rooms that were really weird looking are supposed to look like. Apparently what's happening is that it's doubling up the uh, uh, that interrogation room wall in the next room, but it it's a shadow effect for some reason. I don't know. Um, so I've tempor temporarily uh, changed the video settings, so we're going to have some weird shadow effects before we get into... Um, the battle, uh, so we can see what the room is supposed to look like. All personnel on standby in the area should evacuate immediately. Also, completely past this uh, passageway up. There we go. And there's a treasure chest. All personnel on standby in the area should evacuate immediately. Staff room access key. Well, let's go visit the staff room. So you can see the these uh, squares moving with the character. That's what I had to turn on to uh, get the rooms to show up properly. I, I don't know why it's doing this. Disengage the staff room lock. Oh, hello. There's something on top of the console. Take it. Sure. Acquired Suo Uzuki's PDA. Database update. Anything else in here? Nope. Well, before we get to that uh, boss fight... Oh boy, Suo Uzuki's PDA. Observations on combat realians. Combat realians. They're the same model of combat realians used by the Galaxy Federation military, but they've been modified for UTIC organization use, increasing their resistance to heat, electricity, and flammability, allowing them to fight under more extreme conditions. In addition, their increased endurance means they can carry more powerful armaments. I think that's, uh... That might also be talking about, um... The uh, really strange-looking combat realians that we saw in, uh, Zen uh, especially in Xenosaga One as well as Xenosaga Two, Utic equips its realians with specialized realian weapons, notably ones with high output and high elect electromagnetic force. To deal with them, we will likely need equipment with stronger heat and electricity resistance. 27 series Asura. At the present time, there are no known weaknesses in the 27 series Asura. The capabilities far exceed those of other combat realians in every respect. Their combat pattern is set so that they first render the target immobile, break status, and then confirm the target's complete destruction. The set way of thinking can be called their only weakness, and if they can be immobilized, break, uh, forced into break status, first it may be possible to destroy them. But their minds are not simple, and getting the better of them is not likely to be easy. I don't know why being in, like... It, frames are fine in the menu, but you go into the database, and all of it, well, okay, it's not doing it right now, but all of a sudden it slows down. It's weird. Is this enemy back? Nope. Excellent. Now hurry. This place will turn into a battlefield soon. Huh? Supervisor Uzuki, do you realize what you're doing? Just got a text message, sorry. Pellegrin. There we go. We still haven't gotten the information we need from that woman. So this is what the room is supposed to look like. Stop it. We have all we need. We won't get anything else out of her. That's for us to decide. Or do you intend to betray us again? Again? I haven't done any... Are you going to play ignorant? We know you're leaking information to the Federation. Of course, I think another side effect is the fact that that's all black. And, and it probably shouldn't be. <sighs> leaking information? Now that the project has gone into operation, you no longer have any value. I'll dispose of you along with her. I'm sorry, but I'm afraid that's not acceptable. The room looks so much better now, doesn't it? Without that fake wall in the way. Jin? Uzuki? So you were the one who was receiving the data. You and your father have outdone yourselves. I'll agree. You've become skilled at playing the villain yourself. Are you disappointed in me? You're right. 
I didn't stay the little girl you knew. And you look like you've grown older as well. You look as young as ever. I envy you. I would have preferred that we met again under different circumstances. Y you know, Jin, this is 15 years in the past. You never change. You were always like that. You're incapable of acknowledging others. And you ignored my feelings. And ran off to the Colonel. Ran off to? No. I returned. Returned to where I belong. The Colonel is where you belong? Why? Why do you care so much about him? You never thought about my needs. You just manipulate people to suit your own. You could never understand. This is the destiny of my heritage. I'll agree. Don't worry. You'll no longer have to trouble yourself. Since I'm going to put an end to you right here! Eh, I don't think so. Of course, we know that we won't actually be killing her here. Alright, so the uh, the change I made, I don't think it has any real effect in battle, but I guess we'll find out. Alright, so, uh, we've got Pelligree Pelig Soldier, Pelligree and Pelligree Soldier. Uh, the two soldiers have about 4,000 hit points. Um, they are strong to ice, weak to lightning and fire, whereas Pelligree is weak to ice and strong to fire and lightning. So that's a thing. Um, there's a few things that we could do. I could always do Skeletal Slash. Um, assaulting Blade could be good. Uh, we want to take out the, um, the two soldiers first, though. Um, so I might do a Raging Sea, just because it'll do uh, a small physical attack on everyone. Uh, there's also these Twin Dragons, and I figured out why I couldn't, uh, why sometimes it's grayed out. It targets two characters. Um, and so if there aren't at least two characters uh, to target, it will be grayed out. Uh, but I think I will go with Raging C1. See how that goes. Although I suppose I could have done the, uh, uh, the boost thing since I did boost up. Um, let's see. So I do have Road Rage 1. I guess we could try that. Ooh, nice critical. Uh, I think I will go ahead and X-Buster, though. <laughs> Whee! Ah, so good. Ow! They're not doing much break damage yet. Pleased with that. Alright, let's see... Uh, medium physical attack plus small chance of ceiling boost. Medium break attack, higher critical rate to type G enemies, type B enemies. I suppose I could go with that. Uh, small, actually... Yeah, we'll just do the fire attack on everyone. 698 damage on uh, one of the soldiers. I'm good with that. I don't need the... Uh, um, I don't care... Right now, I don't care that much about how much damage we deal to Pelligree. Uh, who has, uh, 12,000 hit points. <laughs> nice counter! I'm gonna have to heal up Jin, I think. Um... I guess I can just keep doing road rate. Let me see how much, uh, damage we've actually done. Oh, we've almost broken those two guys, so let's keep doing that. There we go. And we are up to, uh, three boosts again. Let's go with Raging C1. Alright, one down. Shoot, I should've, I should've done a finished strike on, on that guy. Uh... All right, well, let's go ahead and do X-Buster. That should kill that one guy. It didn't? Crap. All right, let's see. 
Oh, that's gotta hurt. Ow. All right, so I'm gonna leave that guy alone until we get up to uh, two boosts and uh, just kill him with a uh, finish strike. Really, what I should have done. And eh, didn't seem to do much. Nope. Send him back. Overtaker. I think that's, yeah, boost charge rate increased greatly. Pelagree is preparing for a special attack. I should probably heal up Jin. Especially considering that that guy just attacked. Eh, not that it did much damage. It can't be helped. That helps. I hope this gets us up to two boost. Because she's broken. <laughs> Alright, special attack. X Buster time! Finish strike. Excellent! Alright, what do you. You are. You still have a ton of hit points. Alright, so you can see the twin dragons. Uh, the twin dragons are. Um, grayed out. Medium physical attack, medium physical attack. Let's just go with this. I don't need to do a break attack. She doesn't have any ice attacks. I could swap in someone who has an ice attack. I'll go with, well, let's see. I guess we'll just go with uh, this. Nice! Hmm, I thought I equipped the item that uh, added ice to his attack. Maybe I forgot to do that. Um, I should probably do a break heal on Jin. Maybe I don't need, maybe I don't need quite that much. There we go. I kind of want to just uh, keep attacking until we get our uh, boost gauge up to full. Mega do Rosarium. Ow. Well, okay. Um, let's go ahead and heal him up. I mean, he's. He's in break status, so there's not much I can do about that. Pulsion? Alright, so we're up to two. She's running low on hit points. I don't know that we're gonna really be able to break her, but I suppose we could try that. Okay, Pike. That was actually quite a bit. No. This is not the end. You're not dead yet. Pelagree's strength and agility increased. Uh-oh. Pelagree is preparing for a special attack. Well, how about we go ahead and heal you up a little bit there, Jid? Um Med Kidass should be enough. So, the um, med kits, the S is 25%, M is 50%, L is 75%, and DX is 100%, I believe, of your current max hit points. Meaning, um, you know, uh, an M is always going to heal you a crap ton, which is pretty nice. On the other hand, it's also kind of like... I mean, they, they never stop being useful. Use, uh, useful. Which is also quite good. Um, do you have a break attack? You really don't, do you? I 
I was gonna try to break her. I don't think that's gonna happen. You had to go and break him, didn't you? Don't try too hard. Don't try too hard, really? Okay. Ow. Well, that's that's crappy. Um, what do we affected? Soul down. Um, don't think anyone has an ether that can restore that right now. Not really. All right. I'll just go with a medkit M on him. Don't try too hard. That'll be fine. Well, she's maxed out on boosts. Alright. Save state. Let's see. Large physical attack. I could bring Momo in and do an ice attack on her. Let's try this out first. That sliver might not be enough. Critical helps. Nice! Way to go, Ziggy. Uh, it seems that I have underestimated you. Yep. You could definitely say that. Oh. Damn, I wish I'd gotten that second uh, guy with finish. Gotten that uh, finish strike on that second guy. Two skill upgrade A's and shoot, I forgot to steal an item from uh, Pellegree. She has a double vestment. I'm gonna have to go back and do that. Uh, in fact, I am going to break the episode right here and go do that. And I will probably. Uh, I'm not not actually going to end the episode, but. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll pick it up after I do that again. I honestly can't believe that I forgot to uh, steal from her. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I specifically got Momo the uh, um, uh, ability to steal. Alright, I got uh, 66 uh, uh, skill points for Jin, Cosmos, and Ziggy that time. Got the two skill upgrade A's, got the grand design, and I got the double vestment. Uh, I stole the double vestment. So let's go ahead and uh, see what happens. What happened? Uh, we kicked her butt. Don't worry. It looks like my friends have come to rescue me. That's you mean relief. you mean I didn't Please have to do that? Take care of my daughter. I didn't have to betray them openly in front of them. Damn it! I will. I promise. <laughs> Well, that door open now. Hi, guys. Jin, Dad, he, he came to rescue me. Well, he is your dad. Yes, I know. He said he's gonna save Mom. He said he'd protect his family, even if it meant sacrificing himself. Yes, Father worried about you until the very end. Jin. Xi'an is at the church. I have to rescue her. I have to keep my promise to Dad. It seems to me like the church might actually be one of the safer places. It's outside of the target zone, less likely to get bombed, less likely to have soldiers attack it. Oh, that's... that's right. Xi'an is still wearing the uh, swimsuit. The descent operation should have progressed quite a bit. They must be fighting in the city by now. The situation will only worsen when the Song of Nephilim is activated. Let's hurry. I'll return to backup now that the Chief is back. I'll support you guys, so please go ahead. Aw, Alan, you can you can stick with us. Interesting how it moved our uh, our party around. All right, so Xion is way under leveled now. <laughs> um, she's also way behind in skills. Uh, so let's go ahead and where are the... There we go. Let's 
give her all of the skill points. All right, let's see. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, she's uh, way behind. I guess Shion's gonna be sitting in the party for quite a while. Uh, let's get Fallen Eagle 2, single human only, medium break attack. Short double, small chance of double attack using short range, during short range attack. Luck plus 2, hit points plus 100, and that's about it. Um, Jin can have... I, I think I, I did some people a little bit differently this time. Let's go ahead and get Vitality. Um, let's see, you can have Vitality as well. Let's go with Agility for uh, Ziggy. Momo, you can have... Let's go with Ice Bolt. Beam Bolt. And recovery. Yeah, I got Blizzard too. I was thinking that I might take him into the uh, um, the battle with Pelligree. Or, yeah, well, might take almost anyone in, but... Um, I wanted to have ice attacks in case I decided to take other people in. Uh, let's see. Equipment-wise, let's get you out of that swimsuit. I don't really need the rare bracer. Ah, Grand Design. Null Down SE. Not actually sure what that does. <laughs> no idea. I'll go with that for now. Uh, I'll stick with the witch's eye. Actually, uh... Oops. Oh, I did end up going with the cobalt ring this time. Uh, he did not have it last time. Uh, Ziggy, I mean. Uh, for that last battle with Pelligree. Not the Rosario of Grief. What was it? Double Vestment. Is it armor, maybe? It is. Oh, it's Jin armor. Wow. Oh, wow. Uh, strength gets boosted. Evasion gets boosted. Ether Defense and Vitality are up. I'm glad I stole that. It's pretty good. I don't think I need uh, Thunderwall anymore. Go with that for now. I'll stick with that for now. Oh, uh, interesting note. Cosmos cannot equip the rings that uh, add element uh, elemental attacks. It's, it's kind of weird. Go with that. Oh, I just realized that Cosmos' uh, EP is way down. All right. Um... Actually, formation... There we go. And get Cosmos back in the lead. Oh, I should... Uh, I'll, I'll change the uh, shadows around in the next episode. Don't underestimate me. Hello! You tick soldier A's and B's. Uh, let's go with Raging C. Probably going to kill most of them. Only two. I expected a little bit more. Miss me. Definitely looks different out here. Ah. Oh, well. Uh, to be on the safe side, let's go with Raging C. Pretty nice attack. And of course, X Buster. All of the points. <laughs> All systems functioning normally. After completely murdering them, yeah, I'd hope so. Uh, let's see if we're if these guys have anything uh, good to steal or if they drop anything good. Um, I 
I could steal medkit M's. That's not that great. Uh, Federation soldiers, I could steal ID plates, which we're gonna face. So, no, we're not really gonna be seeing anything worthwhile stealing yet. Are there any more Utic? Yes, there are more Utic soldiers. Ooh. Hello. Um, ET, E2 Hauser. Yeah, these guys are a lot more difficult than in uh, um, Xenosaga 2. <laughs> uh, let's see. Nope. It's nothing to even steal from the from that guy. Seem to get in a little bit of uh, odd slowdowns here and there. Actually, it might be the shadow things, but it might be the fact that it's at night. I don't know. Oh, I didn't get a finish strike on that that thing. Oh, makes me sad. Ow. Actually, this thing has a ton of hit points. Jeez, how many hit points does it have? 2,500. That would be... That would be a lot. Thanks, Jin. It's just a scratch. I suppose I should have uh, put other people in the party. All combat system limits off. Mainly because most of the... Well, other than Xion... No one else really needs the, uh... I mean, there are other characters who need the skill points. Love that. X-Buster! <laughs> All systems functioning normally. Love that so much. It's too good. I got a medkit L. I keep wanting something new to be in these things. It never is. So disappointing. You are blocking the path of emergency vehicles. Please step back for your own safety. I've yet to see an emergency vehicle use that though. So yes, it is during the uh third descent operation. Hmm. Things are looking interesting. Let's check the skill line first. You can get something. Let's get Ether Defense. Doesn't really need the hit points right now. Uh, let's go for Satellite 1. Just take a quick save state. Probably uh, wander around and uh, um, take a look at things. Okay, we can wander around. Um, so I'm going to call this an episode here, and when we come back, we're going to wander around, see if there's anything new to uh, pick up, experience, find, you know, that sort of thing, and fight. See you in the next episode, everyone.